You're gonna cocaine tell me stuff? that Steve Jobs didn't like cocaine? <laughs> <laughs> That's way too intense. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jake. Tonight I am joined by Ben from Nolan TCG, Hello. now sponsored by Nolan uh, Norden VPN. Not sponsored. No way. Affiliated with Norden. Affiliated. Sorry, wrong word. And Kid. still not a word because I said the wrong thing. Moving on, we also have Blake from Blake Goes Face. Not sponsored by Nord VPN. <laughs> not Cry. sponsored by fucking anybody. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> but neither are we. Um, how was our week I in Yu-Gi-Oh? I can put it in the description. Yes. Thanks I for Nord VPN. But it's there. <laughs> Look, it's fine. Look, it's it's a one third of the podcast. It's the podcast making money. Fuck it. Except don't put. <laughs> make sure that gets claimed on your income tax, not on ours. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> you edit this, so it should be fine. <laughs> anyway, how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Blake. I'm an X one again. I just keep going X one with this fucking deck. Consistency is um, key. I've always said this. I changed up the list a little bit, which has been fun. Um, trying to play more Graveyard Hate because it's funny. I guess it doesn't work against Brandon, but it has worked against everybody else. Um, got absolutely romped by Costa just having like Gamma into Imperm into full combo, and I was like, you know what? Feck up. Um, so, you got it, you got it. Uh, and then he ended up winning, which was cool. Good on him. Um, but other than that, making some Master Duel content <laughs> because we very well might get something in Master Duel that I give a shit about. But Soon, we'll but we'll see. bring that on in just a moment. Are you saying that you don't want to be using Vanities with Klee? I'm going to be honest. It's a really cool idea. Um, I just don't... It's just not good. Vanity macro is probably the most busted <laughs> combo I've ever seen it's in my life. It's so funny. It's so funny. Oh, you turn it off. Do it. So <laughs> the, the last time that got resolved against me, I already had McKnight Purple on board. And it doesn't special summon itself back. It just returns. So I was just punching him for 25 every if, turn. If you have macro vanity skill drain. Yeah. Like you're just normal summoning 20 hundred beat sticks and packing yeah. over everything. Easy. Easy wins. It, 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 it does what the only, the only thing I realized is like, it just doesn't do its thing enough games in a row for me to go up. So I don't care. But something will. Arrow go up. How'd you go? Ben, your week. That was fine. I didn't really take it all too seriously because I lost a seven in the first round and I was like, hmm, that sucks. There is that. The early loss does sting a yeah. little. Then I opted to just not take tonight seriously at all. What were you playing? Uh, Branded. Cool. Branded. Literally, I was Branded just Branded like, Branded. if I just start throwing stuff at the board, where does this go? Let's just figure it out. Like, see how, like, yeah, yeah the interactions work. See yeah, how, you, stop where you get to. Around. I suppose that's probably a decent way of playing a brand new deck to begin with rather than, like, memorizing lines and combos because, like, I've always said this, and like for the most part, I've played to it. Is like you just play with what you've got. Like the way that I always used to play was just you go second, you work out what cards you have, do what against the board. So like being that it is early days with this deck, everyone's still new to it. You learn things as you go. But yeah. I think that's a decent way to do it. I, I guess when I take it seriously, I'll figure it out. But yeah. until it, then, it is what it is for now. Hmm. Uh, my week. Uh, so yes. Um, as per Ben's week, uh, Branded has arrived. I am now uh, not playing blue cards, I am playing purple ones. Um, exclusively purple ones. There's not <laughs> any variants in my extra deck whatsoever, and I love it. It's Dying. so good. It's so much fun. It's such a good deck. Um, so I won on Sunday, because uh, there was like, fuck all people there. Um, I think it was, yeah, Lewis and I in the mirror in the end. He was playing the Brave variant, and I wasn't. Mm. Um, yeah. I, in my experience, not that it's all that much at the moment, but I've felt that the pure variant is better in the mirror than the other one, just because it has more immediate access to the stuff that actually makes plays. Yeah. Whereas sometimes in the Brave version, you're only opening Brave and sort of hoping to get the bits later. Mm. Like, if it goes off, it's great, because you've got the Griffin Negate, you've got the entire board, plus whatever else... But when it doesn't, it's a lot like when I was playing fucking Mech Knight. I mean, not Mech Knight. Um, what's the fucking archetype? Uh, Dogmatica Invoked. Mm. He's like, you see one or the other. And you kind of they might carry apart. you a yeah. little bit, yeah. but neither one is competent enough on its own to get you to the end. So I ran into the issue a lot tonight of just drawing the continuous spell. Oh, there's, lost. there's a yeah. continuous spell? No, like the continuous spell for Branded. Oh, no, I'm sorry, oh not branded. that one. Uh, for Brave. Yeah. What okay. does it do? Yeah. 
Just the one you that's act, the combo. That's <laughs> activates itself when you activate the spell card. Oh, I mean the the branded one. Oh, uh, the branded one's meltdown in reverse. We've spoken about it before. So it says no, can't respond. You can't oh, negate the summon, you can't respond to the summon, and when you summon a fusion, it searches a thing. Okay, sure. So but, meltdown in reverse. So, yeah. I drew that continuous spell a lot, and then was just like, it's a discard outlet to trigger my shit, so... Yeah, like that... go! Like, yeah, and those are like the niche interactions that you get with the Brave package that you don't when it's pure like you get that free discard yeah. but there's mechanics within that deck that do it and i i don't know i've just found from replays i've watched of the brave variant compared to my experience playing the pure that i prefer the pure so the only i guess one time tonight i resolved full full everything was game one turn one round one everything was one it was in the start of the night i went full combo against seb and then you went x1 no oh. uh, He activated Necro's Kaleidoscope And I was like Huh Necro's Yeah that's fine And he summoned Unicorn And I was like Huh Oh no <laughs> Oh no <laughs> No <Uh-oh>. People forget <laughs> how like Actually oppressive That little prick was <laughs> It is a Horrible <laughs> no. card to like, deal with I was like Oh I um, forgot that ne- That Unicorn was a thing Also You had hard drawn Both cards Yeah <laughs> In fairness Oh no Cause if you see him search it, you do uh, completely different stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, was, sorry, who I was, was playing like, it? Seb. Huh. Is that... I'm thinking... They like, play extra, it, they play like... There's stuff they can play. Yeah. Because you would have... I'm assuming you would have Mirror Jade banished something to set something, so your Mirror Jade wasn't live. Mirror Jade wasn't live. I had to still do the whole... That yeah. Sort of things. But I still had... Like, I had... Uh, big Chicken to summon... Shuffle back in the deck and negate... Yeah. Big chicken, griffin, lion. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, yeah, I in just hindsight, didn't use you could. For the kaleidoscope. I was like, ah, kaleidoscope, it's fine. Yeah, well, what are yeah, you going to do? Well, Someone yeah, throw you... it out of yeah. yeah. I just completely forgot the unicorn existed. Then it came up that you, I don't know if it was the same game, but you got trished without all the zones filled? No, no, no. I was at that point where I was like, I can dump my shit here and, like, make Seb choose what he's banishing off the trish. So that was why. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it was... That's fair. Yeah. It's interesting. It's just one of those things that, yeah, you if you just up your hand, you're like, ah, oh, you can't trish me, lol. Yeah. Yeah, that was always the thing of, like, you had a go- one ghost ogre in hand and they summon trish, you're just like, haha, idiot. Goodbye. <laughs> um, Goodbye. But that's that's cool. I like Seb showing up with random stuff. It's just fun to see. It is. Um, but yeah, I first branded Soul Soul and Shadol, and I was like, hmm. And Tri Brigade. It was a five-minute game, so I kind of forget. <laughs> Um, yeah, my matchups tonight are versus Sword Soul first. Um, Why do I get so much Sword Soul back at locals? Fuck off. Go do it with something else. Well, no, in, I actually, in, I actually in don't mind the deck. They spent, what, the deck. they spent like, what, a grand on release and then yeah. the best card got banned. So, like, you try and get yeah, your value out of it. I spent it. No, I just bought a case on release and pulled the entire deck. And then. So, you the also. <laughs> so you also bought it for a grand, effectively? No, no, no. I bought Wanderies for a grand. The Sword Soul is a <laughs> Hell yeah. Um, but yeah, um, so um, I only got to game two against Sword Soul, and my opening hand in game two was horrendous, and he just had literally everything. Like, my only saving grace is that I had the token collector for when he summoned the um, Aurodon, and then he's just like, oh, yeah, normal summon Ecclesia. I was like, oh, right, you had normal summon. Yeah, damn, I'm dead. Sag. Yeah, yeah, that's it fair. was terrible. But then my other matches played out fine. Like um, our match was funny, if nothing else, because just th- yeah, it, I just kept throwing stuff at the board. And was every time Jake started playing, I was like, cross out designator. <laughs> hey, he cross out designated so many of my cards in the mirror. I, I'm like, I don't want to use. Do that. you main or side? Main it, but like against Jake in game two, I opened two of them. So you just kept and going, then, no. Yeah. Every time no. I try to resolve a card, he's just like, I'm going to banish it. Like, he hadn't been able to do that much. Yeah, like, I, I think he did, like, shit. semi, like, um, brave stuff. But again, he just opened the continuous spell, so he was just dumping shit. Yeah. And then, yeah, it just kept um, cross outing all my shit. I opened, like, tragedy, uh, the continuous spell, double called by, a uh, double cross out, and fucking uh, edge him. And then I had to, like, edge him off the continuous spell. And then fucking play that way. I was like, cool, sure. I had um the dragon, the the one that burns. Oh, the burning dragon. Burn yeah, yeah, dragon. yeah. 
Yeah, Lewis just summoned two of them, and yeah, I looked. I, I looked at my hand, and I went, "I will kill myself." Like this is how this is gonna go. Yeah, I, if I want to, to do anything, six things. <laughs> um, but I went duality, imperm. Let me try and play. I went down very low and got it gone. I was like, "Thank God." Um, but Hands up fast. I I sat there and I counted out my plays, and I went, "I will die in three moves, and I will just sit here not having a negate." Sick. I've just lately just been like. Ah, let's fucking throw everything on the board and see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah, fuck around, see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. Um, and then, yeah, ended up going X1 tonight. Um, let's go X1 game. Yeah, look, um, ideally I would have won, but again, I lost the first round, so it wasn't a possibility. Um, and then we have uh, our news, which begins with new content for Master Duel, um, which I'm sure you all are very excited about. We Maybe. We discussed that it was coming. Maybe. It's here. Maybe. Yes, I I played Master Duel last night for like an hour and a half. I was losing games in silver, and I was like, I feel like I played. Is it did ladder just reset? Uh, well, I think it's just everyone. No, who's ladder back reset into it. at the start of the month, so the reset last week. But you still have people who are decent down there anyway. Yeah, I ran into a lot of sword soul, and I was like, guys, this wouldn't be annoying if you didn't open three hand traps and two card combo. <laughs> Welcome to Sword Soul. Um, but yeah, it's stuff that we didn't know last week. Um, a whole bunch of animations have been added for cards as well Cute. as the new cards themselves. I got Solemn Judgment in it and the Solemn Judgment just pops up on... Yeah, the old dude comes up and just goes... No. Oh, yeah, and then Cross Out. No! Cross Out, the Joan of Arc bitch comes yeah. to the center of the field and like points the sword at the opponent and goes... No! <laughs> to be fair, if I get more fun ways to say no, because there is so much saying no, I'm down. There are so many cards that have, like, sick animations now. Opponent special summon something in attack position. Ping goes, no. If, <laughs> if MPEG doesn't come up with the, I'm going to get mad. Um, I'm having a look through for the cards. Oh, yeah, man. so you've got Sorry. Cross Out Designator, Harpy's Feather Duster. Sure. It's just, like, this dainty thing. It just, like, brushes the back row, and then it goes, <laughs> <laughs> it's good. It's Swish pretty, and flick, it's your funny. shit is gone. Uh, Imperial Order has one. Great. Where, like, just these fucking barriers come up against the back row. No! <laughs> um, you've got Infinite Impermanence. So it's got oh, two cool. different versions. So it's got one that activates from hand and, like, the bubbles come around the monster to say it's negated. And then if you activate it in the column, all those bubbles appear in that column. Does it stay there? No. Good! Outplayed! Outplayed! It does not stay there. You do not get too many more hints than that. Outplayed. Uh, Lightning Storm. Big Kaboom. Big Thunder thing across the zones that it's activating fun, on fun. um uh red reboot sure just comes up with like red um sort of like techie stuff and then he goes beep, boop, beep, boop. Boop. yeah off. pretty much um and then as ben mentioned solemn judgment oh, old man say no <laughs> is it the um is the art <laughs> curiously is the art um the tcg nerfed up it's only the dude so we don't see oh. any of the women yeah. No whammon. Just a dude. No whammon. That's weird for Konami. Anyway. Oh. Um, yeah, and a whole bunch of other cards got animations as well, but like, like there's such a massive list of it, so I'm not reading through them all. Um, as well as that, uh, we also have the new solo gates. Uh, so we've got Danger as Great. the sort of story mode one. Um, and then Learn to Duel Part 2. Um, which is, again, egregious because um, they make terrible decks and make you verse other slightly better but still terrible decks. I just want the 6M one that's been data mined so I can do infinite loop 6M combo. On an AI. I don't know what well, I would do because I can't, like, it's not going to have a good extra egg. So it's gonna <laughs> no. be, wait, it wouldn't even have a soul day, so I wouldn't even be able to do the infinite loop. It might. Like, um, in the pendulum one, they give you Electromine, so you never know. They'll give you a soul day with one equipped spell deck to something level one. Thanks. Yeah. I do I do really like this kind of stuff. Again, it's an online game. You get to do the cool online things like animations and all this shit. So I like them using it. It's just fun. However, you very well might get to the point on ladder where you're like, bruh, stop taking my time up with these ten second fucking animations. Let me play my game. But look yeah, they're it's, fun. Yeah. Look, you get that. As long as um, it's not too common. Who so, cares? in terms of rewards for those solo gates, we've got two new mates. Um, for completing the uh, Danger 1, you get Danger Jackalope. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, little bunny dude. Yeah. I haven't looked at it properly. I got it the other night, but I haven't actually like put it into play yet. 
Um, and then if you uh, finish Learn to Duel 2, you get Book of Moon as a mate. Your it, favourite. But there's a lot to do to get it. I looked at it. There's it's like a lot. 20 different Learn to Duel things. And I was like, I'm not I even already know through. how to duel. Just give me the fucking Book of Moon. This might be worse than Konami's pedophile agenda. <laughs> Then we'll get back onto that part of the book. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 like we'll make a separate video. Don't worry, it's coming. Um, and then, yeah, as we knew, a whole bunch of cards been released: Sword Soul, DPE, other stuff that no one cares about. Um, a new structure deck as well. Wait, the did you just say? Did you just say Sword Soul and DPE was released and nobody cared about that? No, no, and a whole bunch oh. of other stuff that people don't care about. Oh, oh so, okay, cool. I was like, did we? <laughs> I've had my opponent hard off Infusion Destiny so often. Oh, so many times. It's like great. So many times. Cool. Is Anaconda in? Anaconda's been in for ages. Oh, I don't play yet. this garbage game. Until. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Cyber, the Cyber Style Structure Deck's been released as well. So That's people nice. can play garbage if they want to pay for it. Um, the uh, Danger, the Realm of Danger is a, a field that you can purchase as well. Oh, cool. Uh, some new deck sleeves. Uh, new icons. We've got uh, Fallen of Albaz and Colossus. Um, right. And the next event has also been announced. Different type of event? Fusion! Okay, so different. Which we knew for ages. Remember how, did I bring it up on the podcast last week? How I was trying to figure out if you could FTK without a link. You can? No, no, no. I, a whole bunch of people started commenting on my videos being like, can I FTK without the link? And I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I've got to figure this out. I don't think you can. You have to open Godly. You can do it, but you have to open Godly. Ah. Oh. Yeah, pretty much. Um, and they've obviously created a new ban list for this. Uh, so obviously all Synchros, Xyz, and Links are banned. Um, a whole bunch of no summon cards have been banned, like uh, Christia, Scythe, all the barrier statues, um, Vandy's, the Vanity's Modesters, like Emptiness and Fiend. Ruler, yeah. And Ruler. Um, yeah, Emptiness has also been banned. Ghost Trick Skeleton, for some reason, he always gets put on these lists. No one's doing a Ghost Trick mill deck in yeah, fucking chill. Fusion Tournament. They got they got too scarred by the self-burn. They were like, no, no, oh, we yeah. don't allow anything. Um, a lot of sort of FTK-ish slash no-play cards, like the Ammo Factor Pain that like skips the turn. Um, none of your cards, relax. None of your business. Um, like, uh, Dust Kraken got banned. The hand loop gishki thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Chain Strike, Domain. Um, Why don't they just ban Rituals? Nadir Servant got banned, which really triggers me because now I have to play like pure, pure Invoked and I don't want to. Normal Summon. Um, and yeah, a whole bunch of like he wasn't just going to Normal Summon Alistair. What else am I going to do? I'm not going to bur- like build a bespoke fusion deck for this. Mech Knight. Keck Knight. Oh yeah, all the fusions in Mech Knights. You summon them. They're, they're I need the things. link, Ben! You just summon them. Nah. Link's important in that deck. Blue card. The deck didn't exist before Link's. Therefore, why bad. couldn't they have made Link's another color? Anyway. Ooh, hang on. What's this? Uh, there's another mate uh, for participating in the um, fusion, fusion tournament. Um, the instant fusion noodle pot. That's that's lit. <laughs> oh, that's lit. No, I, that's really I, funny. I actually want that so bad. That, that's really good. Um, so how do you get it? What does your mate do? Is it just like an aesthetic thing? It, that if you, you click it, it does stuff. Hell yeah! yeah it I'm just down. sits on the side. It's reacts a, it's when you a, take a, damage. Reacts when you attack. Yeah. Click rescue rabbit, and it looks at me like we have to can him. <laughs> oh, we are <laughs> rescue oh, rabbit. Wait, Chief, we doing this? I can't believe you haven't noticed. No, this. Rescue rabbit. When you win, dabs. He does dab, and Jake just dabbed on camera. I did. <laughs> You're the one out of out of line, Ben. Do the dab. One. No, I don't dab. Fucking okay. old person. Yeah, I know. Um, boom! I bro, I, this boomer man. You know, you know how it is. Boom us, is bro. us zoomers. <laughs> <laughs> Only one of the two people at this table is not old. <laughs> one of the two people at this table. There, I count three. But sure, no, you don't. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, I'm understandable. You have been rebuffed. When, so. when, when my opponent ashes and I go, no, and they go, me, fair enough. Sure. Um, what else have we I got? I did it to Kyra today and she actually did it. She Because I chain linked in the thing and she went, ash, and I went, no. And she went, okay, put it back in the end. <laughs> um, okay, so we have, uh, what else have we got here? Oh, yes. Um, so I don't know when it's coming out, but um, no. Laundry no. Dragon Maid as a mate. The only good thing about this is A, it gives... Well, two good things. A, it gives a use for Laundry Dragon Maid because the card is shit. B, <laughs> Fair. 
it actually changes into a dragon during the battle phase and then back out afterward. Oh, that's cool. It's really nice. I like that as a design choice. It's that's cool. fine. Oh, apparently it's there's the Trish as well. It's the only good thing this card has ever done. Apparently there's Trish as uh, a thing as well. That's lit. Which Trish? Which Trish? Actual Trish. Actual Trish? Yeah. Oh. The dragon? Yeah. It's going to look really Jake. dumb being so small on the side of the field. Yeah. It's not. Oh, when, not when the monsters are big, they are big. Oh. oh, that's cool. Have you not versed someone who has Borolo Dragon as their mate? Oh. It's fucking massive. <laughs> Is it really? You've just it's got just this little rabbit idiot. on your side and they're just like, Whoa! <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> it's so dumb. I actually don't like the big mates because they look so disproportionate to the rest of everything, mm. but it'd be really funny. Just have this big dragon just like... I just want laundry so that it can do something other than... If Toucan isn't a mate, I'm going to explode. What is it? Toucan. It's not. Le it's tuk. almost definitely not. Le Tuk. Let me Le Tuk them. Just play Ritual Raven or whatever it is. Close enough. It also... All birds aren't the same, Jake. Anyway, moving on to uh, news from the next set, uh, which I always forget the name of. It's Dimension Force. Yeah, that's what I was asking about today. Yes. So, uh, in order to know if it's good, these are the cards that we know so far. Do we know everything? Um, well, this is what it's coming up with. We know here. all of the set afterwards. How do we not know what this is? Is this at least the rarity spoiler? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Star we know three of the five okay. Starlights. No, yeah, that's the only thing that wasn't confirmed yet, was all the Star Arrows. Yeah, okay. Oh. So, yeah, of the five Starlights, we know three. Uh, so, we have Therion King Regulus. Exactly. Uh, Alba Latanus the Abyss Dragon, which Expected. is the new Albaz Dragon Fusion. Okay. Which is cool to get a high rarity of that card, because we haven't got one until the ulti comes out for Albaz. Uh, and Ghost Bell and Haunted Mansion, which was the Unexpected. leaked card. Yes. Yeah, that was the leaked um, card, so they're going, it seems they're going back to hand traps rather than old retrains, because I thought for sure that they would put Elemental Hero Neos in this, but that'll be in the next one. That's, that's cool. Elemental Hero Neos. Why? Yeah, because in Power stress. of the Elements they're doing all that Elemental Hero Neos yeah. fusion support garbage and you need that card to make any of it work. But, so, re so retrospectively, as a part of that, we thought they were going to do that for Guy, Guy the Dragon Champion. They didn't do it. But that was the very first set that they started doing Starlights. But subsequently, like when we got Ruddy Rose Dragon, they did Black Rose Dragon. When they did all the Stardust Synchron supports, they did Stardust Dragon. But I think there's a big difference between Neo. There's not really a difference between Neos and those. Anime. I don't want fucking Neos. No one wants fucking Neos. I want Neos. I don't. I don't know why. <laughs> I, would I would prefer literally any other elemental hero. But anyway. Yeah, pretty much. Um, bro, they could give us Mudball, man. I'd be like, let's go! Start <laughs> Mudball! <laughs> Huge! Because it would be $4 and I would buy the shit out of it. Only $2 for Star Wars. 250 Yeah. That's the going rate. Oh, inflation, of course. Yeah. Oh, um, fuck. Inflation's bad um, in So, now. there will be two more. <laughs> <laughs> there will be two more. Yeah, two more to be sure. announced. Um, Ghost Ball's interesting. Do we have any other Starlight hand traps? Yes. Effect Valor. Diddy Crow. Diddy Crow. Do we That's have any it. other good Starlight hand traps? No. Okay. Um, oh, Ghost Mortar was also one. Which saw brief play at a point. Do we have it? That, <laughs> that was Starlight because it was Starlight in the set that released. Like that set that it came out and had Starlight, so yeah. it was just there. It wasn't an import Starlight. Yeah, yeah. no, but it was yeah. still a Starlight hand trap. Yeah. Um, so moving on to the secrets, we have Libermancer Fire, which we already discussed in our last week's podcast. Uh, Therion Lily Borea, Therion King Regulus. Uh, the most these... expensive card in the set, more than likely. Therion King Re what is it? Uh, the mi Earth Machine. It's like an equippy Therion. deck. Sure. It equips uh, monsters from Grave and then out of, does yeah, stuff. It's, it's a negate for Earth Machine and Skystriker. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. Sure. Why Skystriker? Earth Machine. Yep. Oh, so they just... Oh, that... Oh, that triggers me so far. It now. removes itself from the board. I... Oh, I fucking Great. hate that. Anyway, um, we also have uh, Visa Starfrost, which, from what I can gather, seems to be their new lore continuation. Yeah. As far as I can work out. Yeah. Um, Before we come back to Ice Jade again next set. Great. Ice Jade? Ice Jade's getting more support. Is it? I think so. You sure? Yeah, because Ice Jade stuff was getting bought out, so I'm assuming it's because there's Is it Ice the Jade fusion stuff? Oh. oh. Sound, more fr sound more French. <laughs> <laughs> um, Illegal Knight, which is uh, another card for adventure. Special sums itself, steal some shit. 
Um, Alba Lenitus, the Abyss Dragon, which is the aforementioned Alba's Fusion for Dragons. Uh, Psychic End Punisher, which is the level 11 Synchro Psychic thing. Uh, Beyond the Pendulum, which is the new um, Electromite. And Sacred Claw Triheart. So it's strictly worse than Electromite, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, Infinitely it, worse. Yeah. You have to pay life points. You're super restricted on effects and stuff. It's not amazing. Right. Um, so it looked yeah. like giving you something, but... It's not... Yeah. Um, what else we got? Uh, they killed yeah. your dog and gave you a stuffed animal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the stuffed animal is the dog. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's That's what I mean. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have 14 ultra rares. Uh, we've got Scareclaw, Reichhart, uh, which is again law related. Uh, no Punk, Deanote, Starving Venom, Predator Player, Fusion Dragon. Um, All the Predator Plane stuff in this set, low rarity. Which is good. Yeah. And it's actually not that bad. Like, from what I've read of it, it's not bad support at all. Yeah, um, we've got Dynamorphia Rextrum, which makes that deck work. Um, I reckon that, that'll be a Styra. I think that might be a Styra. Could be. I mean, they did the normal summon of it last time, but, oh, but, see, last time was a woman. Yeah, but this time it's a big T-Rex. And it's named Konami, Konami also like dinosaurs. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they do. Yeah. Interesting, though. Well, we still have, what, two more to confirm. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord. Uh, Skeletal Dragon Felgrand. That, that, Exor- you still reading, you're not still reading secrets, right? These are ultras. These are ultras now. Sure. Uh, Exorcista Magnifica. Uh, the weather. Oh, the Weather Painters are coming out of this. I forgot about this. Uh, the Weather Painter Moonbow. Do you buy Weather Painter for? No. We got one. Do we? Um, what was the last ultra with money? Other than the dragon. Other than the dragon. Other than the dragon. So, wait. Which dragon are you discussing about? Yeah, sure. 15 bucks, 20 bucks. Same set. (laughs) Oh, was it? (laughs) Damn it. Okay. We move. Ignore his point. But when you think about... uh, Anyway, yeah. When I think about ultras, I remember... Yeah, ultras used to be like money, money. Even Double Helix was $45, $50. Ultras weren't that easy to get. Yeah, they were like uh, four double bucks, Helix right? also is twenty dollars on launch. <clears throat> Which what? Ultra double helix is twenty dollars on launch. No. Yes. No. Yes. I don't think that's okay. Were they twenty dollars on launch, or were you getting them for twenty dollars on launch? Because I saw multiple exchange hands had, for a fifty dollar note. I had no issues getting them in twenty dollars on launch day. Where were you? Were you one of these narrow scabby people? No, I think I just got them from Nikija. Because there was no anti code in Melbourne Five, I wasn't doing YouTube. <laughs> okay, because I I saw even at the white even at Melbourne, I saw multiple double helixes well, sell for a all, fifty dollar note. Two months later, yeah, at Melbourne at YCS, of course you're going to see them exchange. For $50. No, 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 but I mean like on release and after <clears> like <throat> leading up to Melbourne, I remember like more than <clears> once go here's a fifty dollar note, play... give me double helix. It's because they're idiots that like OCG doesn't translate to the TCG, and then it's a tier zero deck for three YCSs in a row, yeah. and they're like. I'm glad this YCS is coming up. Maybe I should go back on everything that I've said. I don't know <laughs> how I can... I can't check this. We can't check that. I'm right. I, I can I go back and get my receipts. In <laughs> okay, that's fair. You can Man's got two. actual receipts. I, because I bought two for 20 each and then pulled a third and was like, oh, I don't need one of these. Great. And then I sold it for $20. Because I paid twenty dollars. It's weird that we can't we can't find that, right? Is there any way to get information on I like? I can find the receipt. No, no, but it's just, it's just strange that like could we go couldn't... back on TCG. Doesn't it like look back it on TCG? Well. I don't know how far it goes back. Let's let's move though. Anyway, yeah, we're in we the move news on. section. Yeah, um, <laughs> we've got endless engine Arg- Agraro song Arg- 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 Gyro system. There we go. You'll get that. Um, primitive planet Rycopia, uh, which is the field spell for the new deck. Uh, Dynamorphia Frenzy, which is the new field, uh, fusion yeah. card. Libromancer Fireburst and Libromancer Displaced. Um, and then a whole bunch of supers and stuff that I don't care about. Um, so, it's shaping up to be a decent cur- uh, decent, I was reading as I was talking, not great. Uh, shaping up to be a decent set. Therion will be an interesting addition to the meta. I guess. Yeah, yeah. It'll be, I don't like anything don't to promote it Sky Striker players. Because we was... still have, like, full power branding. So yeah, like, it'll be once Brandon started to get checked in the OCG was when Therian started to take control. Even take control is speaking very liberally. Um, um, yeah. How often does Road to the King update? Not every week or two. 
Okay. Yeah. It'll be really interesting to see kind of like the next couple of weeks and where yeah, all the, that the hype. The last one was like splite. <laughs> yeah, but I'm curious then because everyone freaked the fuck out. Yeah. Um, if it we'll like see what it counts. Yeah. So moving on from that, we have the next. Uh, I don't know if it's like the equivalent of Toon KLC kind of thing, but the next um, sort of side set, Pharaonic Legend. Uh, that. So, Phronic Legion from for the OCG, yeah? Yeah. Uh, that will be our Brothers of Legend. Oh, that will be our Brothers of Legend. Mm, pack. Interesting. Cool. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we have some cards announced from that. Uh, starting with Phronic Advent, level 8 Dark Spellcaster effect, attack and defense both 2k. Uh, you can only use the first and third effect of this card's name each per, uh, once per turn. Uh, you contribute one monster special summon this card from your hand. Cool. Uh, gains 300 attack for each continuous trap on field and in graveyards. Um, you contribute one fairy, fiend, or reptile monster. Add one continuous trap from your deck to your hand. You cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn. Search any continuous trap. In the OCG, that's really busted. Because they still have vanities. Yeah, I can stop. It's a... Stop. As much as I would love it, it it's not something good. Aren't all of the cards they're announcing here just retrains of... Yeah, yeah. Current Necro Valley stuff. Not all Necro Valley. Like, so this, this is, is a this is retrain a of, of Mercury uh, the Destructor. Yeah, I don't know if it's Mercuria. I think it's meant to be a retrain of Wait. the big Pharaoh zombie uh, dude. Effect wise, effect wise, yeah. It searches yeah. a trap and then you can. Yeah. yeah. Um. The, yeah. Continuing on with the Gatekeeper theme, we have uh, or Gravekeeper rather, Gravekeeper's engraving. Um, at the start of your main oh, phase so one, this is literally called grave. Yeah, this one's cards. actually oh, a gravekeeper okay. card. Yeah, at um, the start okay. of your main phase one, apply one of the effects uh, to both a, players. This was a gravekeeper card. Yeah, I didn't notice. Okay. Yeah, so searchable, but also you have to activate it as the first thing you do if yeah. you want to activate it at all. So not ideal. Um, so start of your main phase one, apply one of these effects to both players until the end of the turn. Uh, they cannot activate card effects in the graveyard. They cannot banish cards from the graveyard. They cannot special summon monsters from the Another graveyard. One. Okay. Um, then we've I like got... Gravekeeper support. So I just think on, cool on this subject, for that card, if anyone plays it and they don't play Salesman, I'm gonna be pissed off because it's literally just Salesman. <laughs> so it is just. But Salesman's sales, a bad card. Salesman is prohibition. That is Necro Valley. It's ex- literally the exact same function. Yeah, but from what I've seen of discussions on this card, I don't think anyone's gonna be playing it. Uh, you activate it for a turn. You activate Necro Valley as well. They've got to deal both. <laughs> That sounds fucking awful. Yeah. Um, then we've got uh, Denshin. Oh no, sorry, I'm reading the wrong thing. Um, Apophis, the swampy, no, swamp deity. Um, continuous trap during the main phase. Special summon this as a normal monster. Reptile Earth, level 6. Attack 2k, defense 22. It's also still treated as a trap. Then you can negate the effects of face up cards your opponent controls up to the number of other continuous traps you control to the end of this turn. Okay. So in a continuous trappy deck, it's actually not terrible. Yeah, sure. I feel like there's some application on... Like, wasn't there another continuous trap deck that we got? Um... Not I'm, continuous I'm, I think trap. I'm just getting that mixed up with Dynamorphia, and Dynamorphia is, like, halving and shit. Yeah. Because I was like, Trap City deck? I don't know. Yeah. Um, and then we've also got a V-Jump promo that's been announced to go along with that same sort of theme. Is it just me, or have we not had one of those in a while? Because we don't, we have, don't no. get them anymore. Yeah, we don't get like, the V-Jump promos. special editions we yeah. used to get. Yeah, we don't have that anymore. They don't yeah. print those in the TCG. Huh. Every so we just way get them. that they transferred them over, we don't get them anymore. Huh, they now just have to show up as imports and sets. Yeah. Right. Or you end up now, where we get Ghosts from the Past, and we get all the V-Jump promos from the last two and a half years, so we finally just get Hensel. <laughs> That's yeah. it. Yeah. Fair. Um, so yeah, this one is called uh, Kardan the Great Sage, uh, level 4 Earth Fairy Effect. When this card is normal summoned, you can set one continuous trap from your hand or graveyard. It can be activated that turn. Um, if this card is sent to the graveyard, it can make all face-up traps you can't really control unable to be destroyed by your opponent's card effects until the end of the next turn. Fine. You won't say it. And there's a okay. fun fact. This card is named after Abu Kardan, the uh, the bird that founded Egypt. Oh, oh sorry, yeah. no. A bird that found that's found in Egypt. Oh, I oh, cannot yeah. read tonight. Mm-hmm. I want to die. Can't. Um, along with that, we also have more cards from, um, I can't remember what this set's called. How much reading, Jake? I thought we agreed to not let you read too many cards. Yeah. 
Okay, well, unless they're good. If they're good, hit them. Fuck me, that's a lot of cards. If they're good, hit us. It's Morphtronic. I, okay. Ah, no, so, it's... to touch back on something that we actually had before, because I just I very quickly checked, and um, we'll have a look. We actually got a 7th of May update on Road of the King, which was another meta report. There's I think supply, supply was high. 3% higher than the thing that made everyone go nuts. It is more than half now. Um, and this is out of 100 and, or 200 and something decks over a week and a half so period. Road of the King aggregates those decks on anything that top forward an event. Yeah. They only take top four. That is it. That's interesting. Yep. That's an interesting way to collect that data. Um, the Also, the lists are actually quite interesting. We're getting a little bit more variation in the lists instead of just hand traps plus... like they... Hand traps, frog engine, diva. Yeah. Um, well, I dare say that like once people saw the swing in supply, they were taking to counter against yeah. supply, so they had to change. You play the counters. In saying that, they tend to counter-counter a lot. Also, Shadows popped up, weirdly enough. Woo! Um... Uh, yeah, they. Schism. Yes, um, they tend to counter. Like it's weird how much they can counter counter with cross outs and and um, cross out and call by and stuff like this. Oh so yeah, it's interesting. But their cross outs are one now, though, isn't it? See, si, senor. Yeah, and they but have they two calls by. It does make no sense because it, one is generically. I mean, they does cross out? Does in... cross out allow for combos that I'm unaware of in the OCG? Because no, I know we kind of had that. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you can't banish your own copy of the card and then go, oh, well, effective my card right, that is banished. You can call a Robiner to chain block. Yep. You banish your Robiner, summon, the Robiner triggers, but it doesn't add. Yeah, I just, I don't know why it would be at one and call by would be at two. I can't think of a reason I, why. I suppose it's maybe they were sick of seeing deck lists that had like 13 one off hand traps and like, come on, guys. <laughs> cross outs. They're just like. Because <laughs> there's like one, there's a bunch of lists that are playing one big rock. One effect Valor, one Ash, and then like three of everything else. Are we up to okay. the questions? We are up to the questions. We're not up to the questions. Because we haven't discussed the fact that States has been announced for a date. Yes. True. A very close yes. date. Yes. Uh, so States has been announced for all of the Australian States. So if you're watching slash listening to this and you live in Australia, make sure to jump onto Konami's website or the Yu-Gi-Oh! website and check when your States is happening. I think Queensland is the 28th. Same with Melbourne on the same day. Fun. And then, I, I don't know how judging is going to work for that, because I'm assuming they're using the same judge pool. Uh, and then Sydney is on the 29th. So we will be there. All three of us will be there. I will, yes. Uh, uh, where is that yes, again? Yes, you know what? I will actually uh, will be. The location is no longer be, not to be confirmed yet. Uh, Strange. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, 29th, wherever it is, we'll see you there. Um, make sure to be good duelists. But As a caveat to this... Although we said, if you live in Australia, um, I believe it's Northern Territory. The Territories um, and Tasmania. Didn't Tasmania. <laughs> not Sucks counted. to suck. <laughs> yeah. So it's literally just New South Wales, Queensland, Western Australia. Victoria. ACT and Victoria. No ACT. No, it's there's five. So it's uh, New South Wales, Queensland, Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia. South Australia. That's the one I was forgetting. Yeah, no one ever remembers that one. People just get it confused with Victoria. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's close enough. That's it, though. Um, we'll see you there. Yeah, for there. So. I don't know if I'm going to take it seriously or not yet. I oh, will if it's literally summon a barrier We statue. have our invites. That's, we don't... Yeah, we have literally nothing to play for. Unless they do a giant card. That would be fun. And if Raph Nevin there, I'm going to break his you leg. You can't enter. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I will not lose another giant <laughs> no, card to that man. <laughs> we bought it from him anyway. You and Laws have yeah, just Yeah, but why buy it when I can not... win it? You and Lars just have this streak of like almost winning giant card. Yeah, and look, I did what I could. I, he was playing fucking Sky Striker Orcus. I was playing fucking Mech Knight Invoked. Like, right. what what do you do? Anyway, um, but if you see us and want to say hi or anything, it's fine. Just say hi. It's cool. You'll yeah. notice Ben. Lars might be there too. If you want to say hi, say hi. And don't be gronks. Just like duel nicely to other people. It's like going to be one of the first majors back. Please don't make it bad. Deodorant, masks. A mask are mandatory. Sure. Uh, it is literally, they're going the same policy as that YCS. No consumption of food or drink inside the room last several times. As long as you're allowed out, as long as you're allowed out, it's fine. We'll if they're not allowed out, I'll just fuck off. We'll I, I, we don't need to, we don't need to be there. Like, if they yeah. say, like, no, go away. Yeah. But I don't want an entire day of just playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I yeah, would that's... like to consume water. <laughs> <laughs> Hydrate. If they don't let you out, just leave. You don't need to invite that badly. Or fake a heart attack and get them sued. Yes. 
I'd incriminate myself on camera. Uh, <laughs> moving on to questions. Um, so these are from both our YouTube videos and our Discord. If you weren't aware, we do have a Discord. Link is in the description. Jump in, say hi. Um, whole cool bunch of lads in there. Um, and you can ask us questions such as random dude 63 nice who asks what are your thoughts on basically the no note taking role that Yu-Gi-Oh has where compared to other TTGs that are after the information would be or would become public as in triple tactics how to see your opponent's hand and then most other cards you can write the cards down since you'll be able to really just com commit those cards to memory and writing it down versus memorizing isn't really a huge difference I don't know if I read that wrong or if it doesn't make sense, but it's fine. Um, I understand the point, yeah. The point is the same. Um, seems weird when there are so many effects that add cards from deck to hand and like the that the information, that actually doesn't make sense, um, can't be noted in any form. That has always been a really big difference for Yu-Gi-Oh! versus other games. Other games freely take notes on the side as they're playing along, um, whereas Yu-Gi-Oh! is just like, no, use your brain. So there is one key factor to consider in this discussion that we don't consider when you consider other card games and that's that when you go to a major Yu-Gi-Oh event you're sitting at your table yeah. your opponent is sitting right here yes. uh, your, your person next to you is here right here the person on the other side is right here you have your monster zones that's it you don't get a spell trap zone you don't get a field spell zone <laughs> and then you want to put a notebook right here yes. that's not going to fly no. um, um, interestingly Pokemon from what I know does allow it but what is also interesting is I, nobody really uses it because it's just kind of time consuming. In Pokemon, um, there's no fucking point. Well, it, it does come up when you're looking at like one off tech cards that like you will lose against, but it just takes time. Like in Magic, I see it a little bit where like you'll thought see somebody, you get to see the hand, and then you'll like write down these are the counters they have, these are like that's fine. That but in Yu Gi Oh, when you only have 40 minutes, yeah. I'm gonna be honest, yes, it would be helpful, but I have not found myself in a situation where I think like, Oh, let me take the time to do this and not focus on my, their board state and like, I, I I just think it would take too much time and it, don't get me wrong, it would be nice to have the option, but it might then chunk into time like your opponent's writing something down and you're like trying to get a response oh, from them or trying. To, it's not something we probably need to deal with when time rules are already such a nightmare. The other thing I just thought of as well, I suppose specifically when you think about um, Pokemon versus Yu Gi Oh. Pokemon compared to Yu-Gi-Oh has a much limited card pool. There's only yeah. X amount of cards that have been released in the yeah. last rotation. Yeah. So Pokemon's more than likely you're playing some of the cards that they're playing no. anyway. So yeah. like you're going to know. Whereas like for the most part in Yu-Gi-Oh, you're probably not going to deal with it either. You know most of the card pool that you're playing against. It's only when you verse the fucking weather painted dude on fucking table 743. You go, what does that card like, do? He says half of it effect. Even then, there's it? literally no point to writing something down because you're going to look at their hand. Like you're a point of the red lotus thumb. You yeah. look at their hand at every card. You're like, I don't know what the <laughs> fuck this does. I have to read all of these and I just don't want to. Yeah. Yes. Um, also, Pokemon's like relatively small brain. Like every in Pokemon, everything is accessible at all times. Yeah. So there is like no point. <laughs> it's like, like hand knowledge, hand knowledge is not the part of the game that yeah, matters. Exactly. It's it's not like you're never because because it's like such little interaction with Yu Gi Oh. So there's so much interaction. You're not ever sitting there being like, oh, is this card in his hand something I need to remember? A lot of the time, no. You will know pretty much like. Most yeah. of the time in Pokemon, people telegraph what they have anyway. In Pokemon, you've either bricked, or you can access every card in your deck. Yeah, and so with um, with uh, the only other thing is like Arceus and stuff like this. You don't know what they had. You don't get to know. It just says search a card. What are you gonna do? But they do let you take notes at least, which I don't mind. But it just I have not seen good players do it. I have not seen medium play like mid players do it's it either. So everything's going so quickly, quickly, and people are going through their deck so quickly, like. But again, because there's no interaction, you can just play very fast and get shit done before time is called. Small brain card games allow it because they're like, it doesn't fucking matter. Do it anyway. <laughs> and big brain card games don't allow it because they're like, it'll take too much fucking time, dude. Move. <laughs> yeah, like, do, do your fucking play that is going to take the next 10 minutes anyway. Like, don't sit there and write while we're about to go into time and then get burnt by some stupid shit and lose. Yeah. But always write down your life. Yes. Uh, yes, physically write it down. Always yes. write down your life points because you do not want your opponent 
to call judge on you. Have you ever heard the story of Robbie Cole getting banned from Yu-Gi-Oh for a year? No. Oh, I know that he did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Uh, so, he was at an event, and he wasn't writing down life. And his opponent, like, he beat his opponent. His opponent's like, yeah, about that. And, like, takes out his life points from another game that he had written down. And was like, I don't want. And signed the slip. And then the judge came, and he was like, uh, my opponent's just written off to say that they've won. And his opponent was like, no, he's lying to you. See, I've got the life point notes right here. And then it got write down your a, stuff. Yeah, it got pushed to a judge. Make and sure you are writing down yes. stuff. Does neuron neuron tracks it right? Not that neuron it matters. Neuron tracks it. Sure, they will still prioritize handwritten notes over neuron. Yes, yes. Uh, despite always the fact that it's their take a pen and paper app. to your major events on the states thing that we talked about before. Take a pen and paper to states. Yes, yeah. Pen and paper. If you can get a small camera calculator, take that as well. No, I don't know if I would have been satisfied with like, oh, uh, I got banned. I'm gonna like write a blog about it. I think I would have actually killed the dude. <laughs> Just, <laughs> yeah. But like, it, it's one of those things where it it is such an irrelevant thing in the grand scheme of things that if he's gonna do that, you're just like, bro, are you that like that much of a gronk? Like, really? <laughs> What's your name? Mm, cool. Let me make a call. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me just, bro. Really? It, like, it's not that deep, bro. Like, if you if he had to like. Is it just our community that yes. has these petty no, fucking oh, people? Well, yes. um, there is a uh, Pokemon recently released a cool Greninja card that the that's the, the card next set. The card yeah. like lets you draw, and the the move on the card is a reference to a classic Gronk story, uh, and it's like literally a straight reference to it where a guy was going to Sycamore, which discards your hand and draw seven, but he wanted one of the cards in his hand, so he puts his Greninja from his hand onto his lap and then Sycamores discards the hand, draws, his opponent notices, calls a judge, the judge asks him to stand up and he stands up and the Greninja like falls onto the floor and he goes, I don't know how that got there. So the <laughs> new Greninja, I believe the new Greninja card is like, lap it up or, or like lap it like yeah <laughs> it's called <laughs> it's called um yeah I, I actually it, I actually need this Greninja when the set drops it's, it's really a good Greninja. it's but like this the really <laughs> stupid stuff happens and we just have a laugh about it and like if people are gonna care that much about a card game like to be that much of a degenerate like bro chill I remember once we're completely off topic here that's okay I, I fell down a YouTube rabbit hole of the history of cheating in competitive magic. It's so it's like, bad. It's so all bad. All the people that are just notorious cheaters that have been banned for years come back and then try to cheat on camera again. <laughs> oh my god. It's uh, like, I, I'm a professional player. My strategy is cheating. <laughs> my strategy <laughs> is literally just cheating. I always, I always get confused about the people who try and do it on stream. At the very least, if you're on stream, just don't. Just don't. Like, That's you're not thing. that they, good. Obviously, either... Like, yeah, obviously, it's one of two things, right? They're either so incompetent at what they're doing that cheating's the only way that they're ever going to get anywhere, or they're so fucking cocky that they've gotten away with it that they're just like, no one's going to fucking know. Like, one of them was a guy that was... He'd, like, shuffle his opponent's deck. You know how, like, you can do the fan shuffle and if you're, like, kind of like this, you can see what card it is? Yeah. Uh, he was doing that, but he just put lands to the bottom. He'd like shuffle until there were seven lands there and then he'd then cut the deck so that the seven lands were on top of the deck and he was not subtle about it at all it's like cool uh i'm gonna oh, that triggers me i sorry. will update no. you in a bit i'm just gonna get kevin to remind me or something because i want to i want to see what the oh is, cool. is this yeah i want to see what it's called because it's just funny but they do admit like they do notice these things we've had um next question even like random people just do stupid shit on stream in Yu-Gi-Oh recently at the YCS where he like very clearly like they weren't it wasn't dumb shit no that's that's contentious amongst the community let's not get involved in that oh oh okay <laughs> I, I thought I thought it was no no no, no, no. Might, might have been a different half thing half the community's like he's a cheater half the community's like he's not didn't he just I might be I must be thinking of the wrong thing because what I saw he just like adds a card to his hand that he shouldn't so I don't know. it must have been a different thing whom's knows uh, next question is from Ragai, nice and simple. What do you think is the coolest? Knights, Samurais, or Vikings? Samurais. Have we had Vikings in New Year? It's your Plunder, favorite deck. Plunder Patrol. What are you talking about? I can't believe you've <sighs> negated 
Your favorite. The answer deck. is Vikings, okay? <laughs> the answer is Vikings. I well, thought they were pirates. I don't fucking know. They are, but they're also Vikings. Um, but yeah, mine is knights. Absolutely knights. Well, at least we're all one, one of each. Yep, tick a box. Uh, moving on to Red Jibe's question. Uh, hey guys, I want to make a fun deck that's not too meta around sub 100. Do you have any recommendations? Around sub 100 sub bucks? Sub 100 bucks. Flunders. It sits in that point Easy. where like it's definitely I made a video on it, go watch it. Sub 100 compet... Oh, well I suppose he doesn't want it really to be competitive, but like, I suppose with the reprints you might, might get away with getting under Flunders? 100. Flunders? Oh, 100%, because in my Flunder list that... I, I pushed to like $150 just to include Riser. Now Riser's dirt cheap. Yeah, I suppose. But like the field spells and stuff, that wouldn't push you? It, it field spells like two bucks now. It's a not fun deck to play, I'm going to be honest. It doesn't feel good to win with. But if you want something that you can take to locals and be a dickhead with and win, I'm like, sure. A fun, non-competitive deck that you could get for sub-100, maybe Fluffles? Mm, I think the answer is that one great. Probably, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah. It's, I think it's, the Sinai Minings are still... Oh, that's where they reprinted now. You yeah, to, it's, it's selling in great. But then, like, you got to play, like, non-access code, which feels disgusting. It doesn't matter. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I have the update. Uh, the Greninja is called Concealed Cards. They, they, they translated it nicely. Apparently, the, the one in Japanese was a bit more on the nose. Okay. Um, which is why people realized it was because the one in Japanese was like very on the nose, but they, they chose to, in the English version, they call it concealed cards. That's, that's cool. It's very, you know. I like that. A nod to cheating. Yes. Um, Salamander. The answer is Salamander. Yeah. If you want to be that guy. The um, access code. Make that deck good, you can really. Just ignore it. That, that's what I was just saying. You have to play non-access code. Like you could play the gold one, but even that's like thirty bucks probably. I think it's a bit more. That's actually. pretty much like it though. That is the that's price. That's the point. only yeah. expensive yeah, that's card today. Mm. Yeah, I suppose. Um, moving so, on, we've broke. got uh, Crobat Five. Um, Big up the Crobat. Here are two questions. Oh, this is the hero one. Um, like Jake's effectively, we, unless it's elemental to, heroes, I don't care. It's about hero speed. Roid. I don't know the question. I haven't read the article of which the question is related to. Crobat 5. Is that not what it says? Yeah. Crobat is his name. It's Crobat 5. It's Crobat 5, yeah. Oh, I'm like, dude, is he reading Crobat V as Crobat 5, that fuck? And oh! So... <laughs> Frank's emerging from his really room. Funny. No shirt on. That's really yeah, funny. He's so... burst out of his slumber to have a go at me for. Reading the number five as the number five. <laughs> no, 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 now I know it's username. You, Bin. So, Crobat5, here are two questions for the podcast. With a few it's hero so reprints and ghosts from the past two, and hero focus set coming out later this year, will there ever be a top tier deck again? Again? Well, Toad Heroes. Oh, sure. There was a point in meta history that. This is what he's up. referring to, just for, so you guys get the joke. Um, I think it's. it's you can go away. Toad Heroes? Now. Yeah, like. To the no. To see if you matter again. I think <laughs> I, it's possible. It needs a negate. Yeah, yeah that, that needs years a negate. Years have a negate for three and a half years. Like, Crossout's fine, but, like, still, that's... They keep giving them these things that are like, oh, yeah, more fusions, more attack points, blah, blah, blah. That's not what it needs. I mean, like, thematically, that's what they do, but it just isn't what the current game needs. And I think they have, like, neglected to realise, oh, we... Just want it, people to collect these cards, or do you want them to play it? It either because... needs negates or more absurd going second cards. Yeah, just stuff that just explodes yeah. and just goes. Yeah, all of these shit's gone. Also, yeah. I'm building Master Hero Speed Roid deck uh, using standard Speed Roid cards to summon High Speed Roid Chet Barra and also Master Chief to summon out Dark Lord and Divine Wind. Uh, is this a good combo for the deck? Like, Dark Speed Roid cool. Hero article. Uh, just summon Dark Lord. A lot of decks just can't play through Dark Lord. Just summon Dark Lord. Do regular speed road stuff. I'm not sure what speed road stuff kind of does. But if you summon Dark Lore and you're doing speed road stuff on top of that, it's probably decent. Yeah. I might get a bit of shit, yeah. but like generally, I, I would just not pay attention to, or not give too much credit to a lot of those articles. A lot of them are like, please click on my article because yes. it's fun and it's got a good title. Yes. Just. If they're cool ideas, and if you want to test them out, test them out online. Don't pay for the cards. Yeah, don't buy those cardboard. Don't, Especially when it's a TCG cards. player article, and at the bottom will have like buy these cards now. Yes. Um. Don't again. Master. Uh. Mask law. <laughs> mask. Dark law. Jeez, almighty. <laughs> mask law. Mask hero. Dark law. You can be whatever you want. To um. Is a great card. So if you like mask heroes and stuff, do that. But 
chill on the don't go too crazy next question next question comes from our podcast from Celestial Heretic uh, oh I wonder who that is uh, basically <coughs> who is that I, just read the question sorry um, <laughs> basically says that uh, Naturi beast noises that Blake makes uh, becomes possessed by the spirit of a pterodactyl yeah. um, when we're bringing up Nat Beast in yeah. that deck before absolutely uh, Nat Beast is my soul animal spirit animal fucking Christ it's, I'm tired <laughs> Uh, Dredge and Myra. Um, oh, I wonder who that is. <laughs> I think testing with waters with dragon rulers would be potentially cool. Potentially rotating through them, get rid of Tempest, it's bring out idea. Redox, etc. Mm. It's a fantastic idea. They probably should give it a go at some point. Just like rotate the dragon rulers. Yeah, just like have yeah. one come out. You get it for a year. Then Take it gets one out, again, put one in. You get another yeah. one back. It's a fantastic idea. They're really cool cards. Like, and they're cheap. Like the easy to get. Tacos. Yeah, you get some good salsa on there. Like, they they taste delicious. Like this, I have them double sleeved, like compact in a binder, and they're <laughs> trying. <laughs> they're trying. They're like, let me out. Let me out. Those cards are possibly worse than anything I've ever seen. <laughs> let me bend. Uh, then we have Mars Lowell. Um, we can assume that since Tempest sees no play, a new ruler wouldn't either. Uh, Strikers That's isn't good in Brander because Widow, Anchor, and Afterburners can be played with your Mirror Jade and the EMZ. Or is good, I should say. Um, I still don't agree with that, but anyway. Um, edit. Splite is like tier 0 right now in the OCG, mostly because it can search Max C and it can end on Toad, plus one or two hand traps, uh, plus gigantic Splite. Um, don't assume just because one Dragon Ruler isn't good doesn't mean another one or the other other ones aren't there have been multiple times in this game where one dragon ruler has just been fucking absurd in a deck um yes that hasn't been for a while but just it's a very free summon and can be a very free summon just be I careful when tempest got legalized was when the ycs in japan got won by the ftk deck <laughs> and it was just it had just resolved tempest and it's like cool cool GG. <laughs> it was like resolve Tempest get Gendora X. Sick. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah. It's like Tempest into Gendora X. OCG Gendora X is different to our Gendora X. Uh, yeah, they can actually FTK probably. Do you, I would have loved to be there the moment that player realized he could do it. And be like, wait a minute. This yeah. is insane. Like, let's just take it. Part of me hopes that he was sitting there, like, trying to theory craft. He's like... I need a way to search dragons, and then he gets like the Google alert that the ban list has changed. <laughs> He's like, "What is this? <laughs> I can get Gendor X." What? Okay. The public. But dragon I... rulers would be cool. Rotate them. Fuck it. Let's do it. Might as well. Rotate them. Um, but leave us more questions. We're gonna do. Yeah. Other um, yeah. That that Put concludes us for the week. Um, but yeah, as Blake said, jump in the Discord. Uh, jump on the bottom of the video. Hopefully you're watching, and leave us some questions for next week. Um, but until next time, we'll um, yeah, be fused with something. Well, we will. Be. <laughs> no, <laughs> no.